Now, James, there comes a time when we are suing for the second part of the claim. In 2016, he didn't put his bond up. In other words, That's right. you paid how much? £1,200. £1,200, yeah. Now, you lived there for a period of time until... And it's got through no fault of your own. Some further bad luck came your way, correct? <laughs> yes, yeah. The house was repossessed was from it, under you. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up one morning to an eviction notice and a bailiff banging up the door. <laughs> and you said, I don't own this property. Yeah. But you nevertheless had to get out. Now, you're entitled to that £1,200 back in full. You need to go and pursue that. OK. Because that's a debt that you have. Yeah. And which is still owed to you. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to deal with is that part of the case straight away. Okay. Even though I may feel that he is obliged to pay half of it to you, you haven't yet exhausted your legal remedies in respect of that. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. It's up to you now to go back to that landlord, wherever he is, yeah. and or anybody dealing with his financial circumstances and say, this man has my deposit. Yeah. He may have put it in the statutory scheme.